Hello and welcome to the One Trust release overview video for the 2025 05.1.0 release, also known as the 2025 Spring Seasonal Release, which started rolling out on May 12, 2025. In this video, I will cover the major features that were released as public preview or general availability in the third party management solution. As always, just a quick reminder that this video reflects One Trust's current expectations for product capabilities. Be advised that dates and features may be subject to change and should not be relied upon when making purchasing decisions. In this release, there are eight new features that are releasing as general availability or public preview. Legal entity inventory is being released as general availability. AI document scanning questionnaire response generation is being released as general availability. This feature is available for customers on the new solution packaging only. Issues management for engagements is being released as general availability. Issues management for third parties is being released as general availability. Door register of information reporting is being released as public preview. This feature is available for customers on the new solution packaging only. Engagements and contract reporting is being released as general availability. Related data models being released as general availability. System attributes for the door register of information is being released as public preview. This feature is available for customers on the new solution packaging only. The first feature highlighted in this video is legal entity inventory, which is being released as general availability. The new DOOR regulations require that companies not only document the third parties that they do business with, but also document where those third parties roll up to inside their organizational structure. One Trust has the ability to document a company's internal organizations using objects called legal entities. So this feature is essentially making the legal entities object available in third party risk. The legal entity option is now available in the third party risk management module under inventory. You have the ability to add new entities, export them, as well as perform bulk actions. Each entity contains multiple attributes and Based on DOA requirements, you are able to define the legal entity structure such as branches and subsidiary organizations using the related functionality. The next feature is AI document scanning questionnaire response generation, which is releasing as general availability. This feature is available to customers on the new solution packaging only. Simply put, the purpose of this feature is to dramatically decrease the time spent evaluating vendors by using AI to ingest vendor documents such as SOC 2 report and autocomplete questions in an assessment from the information in that report. It is important to note the following limitations of this general availability feature. First, this feature is only available in regions where the AI functionality is available in the Microsoft Azure environment. Currently, only the United States is available. Other regions will be made available over time depending on AI regulations in those regions. Second, document scanning currently only supports documents written in English. Other languages will be supported in the future. With regards to the importing of documents, there are five key points that need to be called out. We do not train the AI model using your data. There's a limit of five PDF files in one import. There's a limit of a total of two gigabytes for all the files in one import. Only text fields, single select, and multi-select questions are supported. We will constantly be making improvements and modifications to the AI process to ensure you get the best results. In this example, we have launched an assessment of a vendor. In the new AI response card, the import document is selected. Now the SOC 2 report is added and the process is started. Once this is complete, you can review the responses in the assessment. Here we can see that AI has added responses to multiple questions. There are text responses as well as a single select true, false, or yes, no question that has been answered. Each question that has been completed by AI has the new View AI Source button that, when clicked, will provide you with the details of where the response came from in the source document. It is always possible to overwrite or update the AI-generated response in the assessment, and if at some point you want to revert back to the AI response, you can simply click on the View AI Source button and click the Revert Back to AI Answer. The next two features are similar in that the new issues management functionality in OneTrust is now available for both engagements and third parties. You are now able to create issues and manage issue relationships on engagement records using the new issues tab. Any issues created on an engagement record will appear in the new issues register to help centralize issues management efforts in respect to third party risk management. As mentioned, issues management is also available for third parties or by another name vendors. 
Just like engagements, you can manage issues using attributes, workflows, and automation rules, and issues can be created in the issues register. Now let's take a look at issues in third-party management. Here you can see the issues register in the third-party management module. Issues can come from multiple sources such as assessments, engagements, and vendors. To create an issue, simply click on the Add New and provide the relevant information such as the name, priority, description, and category. Drilling into an issue, you can see what stage it is in in the workflow, view documents, tasks, related items, comments, and activities. If we look at our third parties, you can now view any issues that are related to that particular vendor. When looking at specific issues, you can also add a relationship to multiple target types, such as engagements, assets, controls, risks, and vendors. Bulk operations are also available, such as bulk importing issues, as well as issue relationships. Now let's take a look at the DOOR Register of Information Reporting. This feature is releasing as public preview and is available to customers on the new solution packaging only. This feature allows you to capture all the information needed in third-party management that is required by the European Banking Authority's Digital Operation Resilience Act, or DORA. In the OneTrust application, you can manually create third parties or import in bulk using the bulk import feature. Now that the third parties are in the application, you can input the information needed by performing an assessment that is configured specifically to gather the required data for DORA. After the data has been gathered for a vendor, you are able to create the report required by the EBA. Generating a report is as easy as selecting the Generate DORA report and the process will begin. When complete, you will receive a notification that the report is available. Viewing the report, you can see that OneTrust has created a one-to-one -one match to what the EBA is expecting in the Register of Information submission. There is no need for you to know all the codes and formatting that is required. The report takes care of all that for you. The next feature is Engagements and Contracts Reporting, which is being released as general availability. This feature allows you to create custom engagement column reports in the Reports module. Now users can create column reports with engagements as the primary data type to provide comprehensive insight into your organization's engagement activity and related engagement objects. To create a new column report where engagements is the primary object, navigate to Reports, click on Third Party Risk Management, and select Custom Reports. Give the report a name, select column in the report type, and engagement as the data type. Now you have a column report that is using the engagement as the primary object of the report. Like other column reports, you can add attributes from the engagement or any of the other related objects. You can also add or remove related objects by clicking on the Manage Related Object button. The Primary tab is selected, which shows all the engagements. However, you can select the other tabs to show the risks, vendor contracts, or other related objects. You can also create filters to help zero in on the information you're looking for. Once the report is configured, it can be exported by clicking on the Export button. Related Data Model is the next feature and it is being released as general availability. This feature gives you the ability to report on related engagements and related contracts within PDF and column reports, visualize contract and engagement re relationships using the data graph view, and export related engagement and contract data from the list page exports. Parts of this feature are related to the DORA Register of Information Reporting covered earlier, so this demo will only focus on the data graph view and creating related objects. Here we see a number of legal entities in the library. To add a relationship to an existing entity, select the entity and then click on Create New. Here you can select relationship types such as Has Branch Of, and then select the target type and target record. In this example, we select the target type of entities and a target record from a pick list of existing entities. To get a visual representation of the relationships, click on the View Data Graph button, which will show the relationships to the currently selected entity, which is Zentoso Germany. As you can see, the selected entity is at the center and all the related entities orbit it with directional arrows and relationship types. The final feature highlighted in this overview video is System Attributes for the DOOR Register of Information, which is being released as public preview and is available for customers with solution packages only. This final feature rounds out the group of features released for DOOR support, and this one specifically is about the list of new attributes which have been added in third parties to help configure and generate your DOOR report. These attributes are designed and optimized to avoid data entry duplication. Here we see a list of attributes that have been added to OneTrust for entities. 
These attributes are specifically created for use with Dora and can be populated by creating an assessment that prompts the user to provide the information needed. The information can also be provided in a bulk upload. We have also created specific attributes for vendors, engagements, contracts, and nth parties. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful and informative. Please see the additional videos on My One Trust that cover the new features and additional areas of the product. If you are interested in more details about the 2025 05.1.0 release or what's going on with the product, be sure to check out the One Trust Talks Tech podcast.